Hello and welcome to this Randstad Candidate tutorial on how to use our Timesheet app. When your Randstad consultant sets you up to use the mobile Timesheet app, you'll receive an email from us that looks like this. You'll note that you have access to both the App Store and the Google Play Store through this email, but you'll also need to set yourself up to use the My Randstad portal in order to be able to access the app itself. Click on Get Started Now to set up your My Randstad portal. You'll need to set up a password to activate your My Randstad account. This password will be valid for the My Randstad portal and also for the Timesheet app that you'll also need to download. Click on Go to My Randstad. Re-enter the username and password you just created and hit Login. Once you've created your My Randstad login, you need to go to the Google Play or Apple Store and download the appropriate app. In this instance, you click on Get to get the app. Enter the username and password you just created on the My Randstad site to access the mobile timesheet app. When you initially log in, you'll notice that you are taken directly to a to-do page, which is showing you any timesheets that require you to complete them. You also have access here to view your submitted and approved timesheets. Other navigation appearing on this page is also a click link to your booking section. When you click on bookings, this will show you a listing of either your current or past bookings. To enter the booking that you wish to have a look at the further details for, click the arrow on the right hand side of the information. When you enter a particular booking, you're able to see relevant information pertinent to that booking. If you scroll down, you'll also be able to see timesheets associated to this booking. To have a look at these timesheets, click on the arrow on the right hand side of the timesheet. If you wish to enter or edit hours for a particular day, simply click on the arrow to the right hand side of that particular date. Inside the edit shift function you'll see you've got the option to edit either your shift start, shift end or your unpaid break sections. Do this by simply clicking on each item to reveal a list to change. Once you have made your amendments, ensure you click on the save button in the bottom right hand side of the screen. Should you wish to add the information you've just changed on this shift to the remaining days available to you on your timesheet, simply click the copy function available at the bottom of the page. To copy the shift information across, simply check or uncheck the days that the information relates to and this will then copy this down to the days that you had chosen previously. If you need to add a new shift, a new allowance, a new expense or an attachment, simply click on the relevant orange button. Add a new shift, add a new allowance, add a new expense or add a new attachment. This will take you through to another page that you need to complete. For instance, if I was wanting to add a new expense, I would do the following. To add an expense, I simply choose the type, add in my value, the date it was relevant to, add a photo if necessary and I can also add notes. Once I've done this, I would simply hit save at the bottom of the screen. If you need to delete a shift that you didn't work or perhaps a public holiday fell on that day so you do not need to record any hours for this, simply swipe to the left on the shift itself. This will then reveal the delete button. Simply click the delete button and this will remove the shift for you. Once you're happy with the content of your timesheet, you simply need to click submit and this will be sent through to your timesheet approver. If your timesheet is rejected by the timesheet approver, it will come back to your to-do section highlighted in red. Click on the arrow to edit this. Once inside the timesheet, you'll notice a large orange button called Edit Rejected Timesheet. Click on this and then you would follow the normal steps to make any amendments required. Once your timesheet has been submitted, it will move through to the Submitted tab on your app removing it from the to-do tab. You'll then uh, see this move across to the approved tab once your approver has signed this for you. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Should you require further assistance, please contact your consultant directly. And thanks for helping us shape the world of work.